Hello, it's Peter here. It's beginning of November 2024. Hope you're keeping very well. And it's been out autumn now and it's a bit quiet on the B front, so I thought I'd come down to my local stream again, have another go for the fishing here. So it's a, quite a small stream, fairly shallow in most places and there are a few deeper pools. It's nice vegetation, there's sort of trees and shrubs on either side, so it's quite a natural stream. It's a big alder tree here, just forming a small weir pool. And it's quite a deep hole just by the roots there, so I thought I'd give this spot a try. Just using fairly light tackle. That's a very small roach, just caught in a single maggot. Move downstream a little a bit further. Again, quite shallow. And then there's a slightly deeper run by the bank. I say deep, but it's only about sort of a foot deep or so. I've seen quite a few swan mussels in the stream, so the uh, water is obviously quite sort of quite good. It's another very small roach. Just move downstream a bit more. Actually, when I was fishing there, a chap came past and he said he thinks there's some fairly big perch and the odd pike in the stream, but I haven't seen those yet. So they're not too far from the sea, so there might be a few eels in here. There's just another small roach. I'm not expecting anything too big in the stream, but it's just nice getting out this time of year. Yeah, nice little looking roach there. Just pop him back. Apparently there are a few mink in the stream as well, so that's what they take a few fish. That's another fairly interesting looking swim. Again, there's a big willow tree here, which has formed a small weir. And then there's a deep pool here. Give this one a try. Yes, yeah, had a couple of hours down the stream. It was very nice it was. Just a quick update just on the three nukes that I made back in, in the summer. I've got them all in Payne's poly boxes. It's just a standard six frame poly. And they've done quite well. I've given them some feed. So I'll keep my fingers crossed they'll survive the winter. And the other two new boxes I've got in uh, modified panes, which take eight frames. Yeah, these bees are slightly different because they seem sort of fairly quiet sort of bees. I don't seem to move about much, but uh, it's a nice way to it. And the, these ones slightly more active, and they seem to produce quite a lot of propolis. So I hope these get through the winter. Yeah, and we're starting to feed the birds in our garden now. So there's a nuthatch down the bottom, and a goldfinch, and a blue tip. Anyway, thanks so much for uh, watching and subscribing. If you've got any comments, give us a shout, and uh, I'll do an update perhaps in the spring. Just let, let you know how I'm getting on. Bye now.